This electric bike has the most compact mid-drive I have seen so far. It looks so much smaller in size than compared to a standard 750 watt hub motor I have tested in so many bikes so far that's pretty much a standard today, but allows you to reach speeds way higher than the majority of your bikes and it's so much smoother. The bike weighs 59 pounds or 27 kilograms only, feels nimble and so much fun to ride. This is the new Avadar C3 City Mid-Drive electric bike. It comes in two colors, black or blue. The bike looks so much better in person than in pictures or video and the paint with the frame design looks so clean and well balanced. The bike looks light and feels fast. The C3 City model offers a classic frame design, simple and easy to use. The fork has lockout and rebound adjustments with over 2 inches of travel and a commuter bike with thin tires, this is big. The fork is oil spring suspension with hydraulic lockout. This bike can tackle off-road well, also you can add a seat post suspension to make it even more capable, making it perfect for riders who commute to work or run errands every day. We have internal cables routing that gives C3 a super clean look and here in the bottom the cables are out but still well compactly organized and positioned, no mess, no bulk, done very elegantly. This frame is treated and protected from corrosion and any weather impacts, an extra step nicely added for longevity. This mid-drive besides being so compact also has dual chain ring, I have not seen this feature on any electric bike so far. Climbing hills on the smaller crank set ring feels effortlessly. The only thing that's missing here is the sprocket guard to hold the chain from flipping over. The mid-drive motor is equipped with a precise torque sensor that provides intuitive and smooth pedal assist and it's adjusting on your pedaling style on how much pressure you apply, delivering only as much power as you need. The power comes instantly so you need to adjust the gearing, but the bike feels and steers like a regular bicycle. And that's the beautiful part. Since the battery and the mid-drive are positioned lower in the middle of the frame, it allows for lower center of gravity, improving handling. We have a 36 volt system and there's so much power. The back is 10 amp hour or 360 watt hour capacity. It will be cool to see this model on 48 volts and how it performs. Initially, I thought the battery was too small, but after several days of testing the range and top speed, I think Avadar team nailed it. This battery is the right size, well balanced and offers plenty of power and range, keeping it in a compact form. You don't need more. I managed in second gear which overall is a very comfortable speed and setting to cover 11 miles with only 25% of the battery. That will give you 44 to 45 miles on a full charge with speeds between 16.5 to 27 miles an hour. Top speed. In the fifth level assist I was able to reach 27 to 28 miles an hour and it's sustainable on the flat roads. And we don't have a throttle here, it's all on assist and pedaling. The harder you push, the faster you go. The frame is comfortable, I weigh 215 pounds and I'm 6'3 and I have plenty of seat post height adjustment and I can extend my legs and pedal comfortably. We have hydraulic brakes here and great stopping power. I like the grips, wide enough handlebars, cranks and pedals are metal and good quality. We have panel racer tires and quick release axles that I really like, easy and fast to remove if you need to load your bike in a car or store it. The 5 speed levels have a wide range of power assist and are well adjusted. You can reach maximum 28 miles an hour top speed even in the first level and get so much more range. I tested in a third level speed and I covered 25.7 miles on GPS and the bike speedometer showed 29 miles. My weight 215 pounds and I had a bag with 10 pounds of camera gear. Hi right, guys, I really like this bike. It has so many gears and here we have a nicer Alta Shimano shifter or rear dryer. We have eight gears in the back. We have two gears in the front and when you shift, this uh, torque sensor adjusts so fast and so seamlessly. It's amazing. So the bike, it doesn't matter if you're tired or if you want to go fast or slow, it adjusts to your mood, to your condition and just pushes you forward. And you can pedal 15 miles an hour, you can pedal 28 miles an hour. If you have more strength, we can pedal 30 or faster, it depends how much power we can output. But uh, we don't have a throttle here, so the drive is constructed to push exactly what you need. It's so smartly done. The only thing I don't like is that we have an older sensor here. I wish uh, mid-drive with the controller that's inside 
hook up with everything. Still, it doesn't matter, it's still uh, good. Uh, the brakes are awesome, so much stopping power. And uh, there's no branding, but I think it's a Logan brakes. So they're so good, you can operate with one finger. There's plenty of room here for hand, and they're so responsive. And you apply slight pressure. The screen is small, it's colored, it's well uh, visible, but in sunlight, it's a little dingy, but it's not bad. The battery integrated in this frame gives this bike a traditional look, very sleek, there's no motor in the back, so you would not say this is electric. The battery, it charges in 4-5 to five hours, it can be charged outside the bike frame. The charger is very compact, 2 amp an hour speed. I am impressed with this mid-drive, it's so compact, so light, but offers a wide spectrum of assist, higher power and torque compared to similar powered hub motors, and it's not limited. The shifters are better quality than your average electric bike, well set up out of the box, shift speeds fast and crisp, a rear rack that can hold your groceries or loads up to 25 pounds, very compact but powerful front light. We don't have a rear active light and this bike just needs one for night riding and to notify traffic when you're braking. This model exceeded my expectation, it was easy and fast to assemble, well packed. This is an everyday e-bike that helps you explore or run errands easily. The quality is above average. Customer support answer all my questions and this model handles the city so well. And to summarize, the performance that you get out of this bike, for this size and weight, it feels super light. But the most important, it looks like a regular bike. This was the review of the Avadar C3 Mid-Drive City Electric Bike. If you find this video informative, please smash that like button and it will help if you share this video. Thank you so much for watching. Always ride safe and I'll see you next time.